Morning everybody, here's some highlights of my first look pro opening round this morning. Hole number one here, going five and a half top spin, two and a half bars side spin. To the left with the uh, Thor's hammer, we do have some headwind on this one. Adjustment is max plus 10. Blue ring to the right at plus three yards. And setting up here with the top spin, don't need any overpower, which is always um, preferred. I'm going to take yardage notes here, drive distance 345 yards. And here going with half a bar of top spin. Make sure the ball guide is going through the hole. We do have some headwind here. Red ring just touching the rough there. In fact, it's a little bit over the rough, but we're still okay. And I play this one 68% on the slider, zero elevation. Don't forget, check out the Academy playlist if you want explanation on how to use the slider in your tournament play. So 68% slider, zero elevation. Hit perfect. And this one goes in very nicely to start with a nice eagle. So we can use yardage notes here, get this one right at pin, dialed in for an eagle on hole number one. Hole three, really nasty wind here. I just managed it with a kingmaker, so I'm going to show you this, but I would recommend you go with a berserker, especially for the second shot. 4.2 bars of top spin with the rock level 8 and max plus 10 and then whatever overpower you are just into, go with that on your drive. As you can see here with the power three ball, we are short even with fairly decent drive. We don't really want to push the drive very hard, uh, much harder than that. So I'm stretching out, seeing how many rings of overpower is needed. Two top spin, three right spin. But like I say, go with a berserker here. You won't need to use as much overpower, if any at all. Maximum distance, minus 10% elevation. And we're going to go with half a ball of curl to the right. So I have to go with max OP here. But just got to knuckle down, get the timing right. Perfect. And we just take safe eagle here with this tricky wind angle on hole number three. Hole five, made a couple of mistakes with this drive. There is a send it option here. I wanted to try a safe route. First mistake is that I set up too close to the rough. And my second mistake is the amount of topspin. I only put on two bars of topspin here because I'm overestimating the wind push. Need to go with more than that. And we need to back up so we have the blue ring touching the rough. I do max plus 10 here, which is only just enough. And you'll see why in a moment. I go with half a ball of curl to the right. Now just watch here the position of this first bounce. It is far too close to the rough for my liking and we may have a bit of overpower there unintentionally. So like I say, back up or go with more adjustment. Very, very close and also not enough topspin really. However, if you do end up in this uh, spot, I did get the Grizzly here from minimum distance. Obviously you can use a max short iron though is the plan if you don't want to send it. Uh, but we got this just over minimum distance with 0% elevation.
Hole number seven now, decent look here uh, with a Titan. Could probably drop down to a Navigator though. Lining up no spin first, then putting some spin on. Half a bar of backspin, one bar to the right. I adjust max plus 20 because we do have headwind here. But this one does need a slight tweak, but it's something to work with. Hole number eight, going to play right side again because we do have some uh, headwind angle. So setting up with the Thor's hammer and the Titan. Four and a half bars of top spin, two bars right spin, red ring touching the rough at plus two yards. And the adjustment here is max plus ten. Now this drive is going to be interesting. Sometimes you're going to get a better roll than others. So you're going to have to have two options ready for the second shot. One with a thorn one with the Grizzly. Thankfully we do get a very good roll out here and our drive distance is 360 yards. So with a longer drive we can play with the Thorn which is always nice. Four and a half top spin, one bar side spin to the left. And this one I'm playing on the slider and I played it 88% slider plus 15% elevation. If you are in grizzly range, you'll be nearer to min grizzly. You're going to again apply top spin, have the ball guide going slightly through the hole and adjust club distance plus 15%. Hole number 10, now we're going to go with the rock because we have tailwind, four top spin, two left spin. Adjustment here is max plus 10. Clear ring touching the rough on the left at plus 13 yards. And once again, going to be using yardage notes. So here I'm going with the Grizzly, but I do make a mistake, and unfortunately, and very frustrating, I go short in line here. 0.5 bar of top spin, but we do need a little bit more to get the ball guide going through the hole. This is because we're going to adjust down into the water and lose distance. I played 65% slider, zero elevation, but like I say, just put a little bit more top spin on here because there's nothing worse than going short in line. Hole 14, there is again a send it option here, but more of a crosswind than tailwind, so I'm going with the rock. Three and a half top spin, three right spin. Backing up here, so I've got the blue ring touching the rough this time. I don't want to push it too far and, and risk going directly into the rough. Max plus 10 is the uh, adjustment here, and then going with half a ball of curl to the right.
Here I'm going with the Hornet, but didn't need the Hornet. The Thorn would have been fine here because we only need uh, just over three bars of top spin. I am close to max distance here, so I play this one 94% on the slider. No elevation. 3.1 top spin ball guideline to the hole. Obviously, if you're playing with the Thorn, uh, the ring size is going to be slightly different, so bear that in mind. Unfortunately, though, we did hit a great left here, but the speed was very good. So I do think with a perfect, we'd have probably snuck this one in for a nice eagle. Hole 16 here, once again, same setup as before, blue ring to the rough with no spin, ball guide through the hole, then I'm going to add my spin. I go 1.5 backspin, 0.8 bars side spin to the right, and my adjustment here is mid, plus 20 power 1 numbers, because we're using a navigator here. Perfect ball, so we can tweak from here as we've hit perfect, which is always the plan on the first look. Very nice speed, but just a little bit to the side there, so need to just tweak something there, either go with more adjustment or maybe a full bar of right spin. Finally, on to hole 17, and sadly had a bad case of the great balls here. Going with Thor's hammer and playing left side with this win, five top spin, one right spin, adjustment max plus 10. Stretching out just to see that I will need to push up some rings here, which is three rings. Make sure your second bounce is over the rough. Second shot here, rather than go with the rough bump, because I don't have the Hornet, which may be better with the top spin. Playing a backspin shot with the Thorn. Three and a half bars of backspin is what I'm going here. And I adjust this medium plus 10. However, we do hit a shocker of a great ball once again here, so didn't get a very good look at this. So you've got two options. If you fancy the rough bump, go with the uh, short iron with more top spin. Or, obviously, you've got a good chance here with the thorn and backspin, but you do need to hit perfect. So, if you are playing Pro Division, hope you can use this and make some tweaks. Shocking great left there, unfortunately. Hope you guys all hit some perfect balls, and good luck in your rounds. See you soon.